Could there be life on Venus? Astronomers discovered a gas on the planet that could suggest yes. KPI X5's Kit Doe talked to the researchers about the historic discovery. We are here at the SETI Institute in Mountain View to get some perspective on the big announcement. Yes, this is historic, but also a time to be humble and let the scientific process take its course. I was just stunned. Professor Jane Greaves at Cardiff University in the UK is talking about a paper that her team published today in the journal Nature Astronomy titled Phosphine Gas in the Cloud Decks of Venus. Phosphine on Earth occurs naturally in decaying organic matter like in dead fish or swamps. And so the researchers were puzzled. How in the world did phosphine get on Venus? This is very unexpected. So we think something is um, a process that's making it and one of the possibilities is it's small floating organisms and the reason we think that is because there are small bacteria on earth that do actually make phosphine. The research team spent years examining other possible sources and ruled out things like lightning, meteors and volcanoes, all of which would not create enough phosphine on the scale that they were detecting, about 20 parts per billion. But in the end, the team wrote, we emphasize that the detection of PH3 is not robust evidence for life, only for an anomalous and unexplained chemistry. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Natalie Cabral is a planetary scientist and astrobiologist at the SETI Institute in Mountain View. Cabral says clouds do not provide stable habitats for life, and so any possible life had to develop on the surface and then somehow be transported up into the atmosphere. But the surface of Venus is 900 degrees Fahrenheit with an extremely high pressure atmosphere that is 97% carbon dioxide and rain sulfuric acid. And we don't know of anything that can survive. It becomes really hard to take something alive and, and take it to the atmosphere. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying today that the body of evidence leans more towards a geologic process rather than biological process. But I could be wrong. And that's the beauty of science. Kit Doe, KPIX5.